And my next guest is Georgina Terry, who is going to tell us about Women Entrepreneurship Day. Georgina Terry, uh, Women's Entrepreneurship Trinidad and, and Tobago Ambassador, correct? Yes. Good Welcome morning, to Lisa. the program, Georgie. And <laughs> you've been you. here before. I have. You <laughs> have, you have. Tell us about uh, this whole event that's happening. Okay, so Women's Entrepreneurship Day started, the initiative started six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's celebrated now in 144 countries. Um, and there's ambassadors in every country, and I'm the ambassador for Trinidad and Tobago. Wow. The whole pro promise of the movement is to celebrate, support, and empower women entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. both inspiring and established. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people might say, well, why, why have Women's Entrepreneurship Day? Because days for, women have days all the time. Yeah. But because we still have, unfortunately, we still have this disparity, we need to have a day where we can celebrate and, and show women entrepreneurs and what they're doing and showcasing so other women can step up into that space yeah. Be encouraged that if they can do it, I can do it. But there's still a disparity. I get the sense that mm. women are stepping into their own and taking the reins yes. of entrepreneurship now almost more than men. They are, but it's the size of the businesses that grow. So yeah. even though they're stepping into the space, unfortunately, and a sweeping generalization, being able to access funds, also the many roles that women play, yeah. all of that plays in. So women actually don't, don't tend to grow their businesses as as they as big as they could. Right. So creating a, a, a movement like this encourages and supports and says, look, you can do this, and there is support to, that allows you to do this. There is support. Yes. In terms support. of financial and training. Well, and so on. it's the training, not necessarily for Women Entrepreneurship Day, but what it does, it it raises the game and raises the visibility. So mm. therefore, like I have my company, Business BPD Associates, and we provide. Um, training and, and development for women entrepreneurs. Yeah. And therefore, th what this does is allow women to see that's what I can do, what support is available yeah. that I can grow and scale my business. Yeah. And uh, in terms of Trinidad and Tobago, do you have an idea of how active women are here in, with regard to entrepreneurship? There are, as you said earlier, there are, I can't do the numbers, but there are a lot of women stepping into entrepreneurship. Yeah. But it's really like they're still, in, it's kind of a lot of the businesses are quite small. Yeah. So how do we support them to, to grow those businesses yes. and yeah. actually go global and but not you know, just stay local? But you know, that's an interesting point because uh, speaking to some female entrepreneurs, uh, women say that some women say they define success differently. Yes. And in terms of what success means to them, may not necessarily be uh, becoming a Fortune 500. It might be with regards to the impact that their business has on society I'd and agree on with community. That. I'd agree with that, that everyone has their version of what their success is. But mm -hmm. if your version of success is bigger, yeah. then being able to support that growth, or even if it is small, being able to make it sustainable. Right. Because that's the key. Sometimes right. you get into it, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable, yeah. So what's going to be happening for Women's Entrepreneurship Day? So we are celebrating Women's Entrepreneurship Day on the 14th, Thursday the 14th of November. Now the mm -hmm. official day is the 19th, but we had it, we're having it a bit earlier because that that's a Tuesday. Um, and we're having three speakers, Judith Coward, talking yes. um, about oh, social Judith media, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the impact of social media on your business. And we also have someone speaking about data analytics, because there's the whole thing about big data and how you use data. Yeah. And then our businesses, a lot of our businesses now are on, online. And even if we're just with email, so we need to know how do we protect that? So yeah. cybercrime, cybercrime is not just for small businesses. It's small, it's not, sorry, large businesses, but small businesses too. Because yes. if your email account gets hacked, Yes. You can't communicate with anybody. Yeah, yeah. So we've got three great speakers basically talking about how do you brand and um, protect your business online. So it's at um, 8 or 12 on the 13th, 14th of November. And is it open to all women entrepreneurs? Is it only open to women entrepreneurs? No, it's not okay. actually. So even though it's entitled Women's Entrepreneurship Day, it is about celebrating entrepreneurship. So men are invited to come. Yeah. Um, so it's women aspiring and um, established as well as men. Mm -hmm. um, early bird is the 30th to the 30th of October. Yeah. Um, so Which is just now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I guess people can go online and find more information about the World Entrepreneurship Day. Yes. Event. And I can give yeah. a quick number if anyone yeah. wants to call. 683-4082. Um, mm -hmm. That's 683-4082. Okay. So, Georgina, congratulations on the work that you continue to do you. as the Women's Entrepreneurship Trinidad and Tobago Ambassador. Thank you. And all success with Women's Entrepreneurship Day. I'm sure we're going to be talking mm. to you more about Lovely. that and, and about entrepreneurship as the day gets closer to it. Right now, though, we're taking a few messages and perhaps cross over to Dion Batiste with the, top of the, with the news headlines to the top of the hour. But if we don't have Dion, we're taking a few messages and come right back. 
Harry has an extra special guest to share with you after the break.